What's up, everybody? This is Jeff Bernard with Solve Systems, and today we're going to go over the ClickUp API endpoints for members for a task and members for a list. And what you could do with this is scan a API call for your, say, HR system where time off is put in with your ClickUp developer board or any other way you use ClickUp with another system that has an API. So follow along and we'll go through each one of these. Like and subscribe so that you get video notification updates from Solve Systems when we put out new content. And let's go. Let's look at it. Jumping straight into the documentation, we have two API endpoints here. This is the get members of a task, which requires the task ID, and get list members, which requires the list ID. So we'll go into Postman, uh, actually ClickUp first, and then Postman with the information from ClickUp. So we're in ClickUp, we're in a task, just a random task, and this could be any task, and we have the task ID copied. We'll go into here, we already copied it in there. As you see, I've already made the API call. And what's returned is a list of members for that task in an array. So you'll have, if you had more members, you'll see in the list members uh, API call, we'll have multiple members of that list. But in this, we only have one member of the task, which is myself. So this is a way to make your call and get the task members. Looking at the list members we have the we need the list id and it's going to return a list of people that belong to that list a lot of lists okay so we have our list and the way that we can get the list id is we can just simply click on the list and in the url you can get the list id and one thing to note here is that in the local app so if you're running a local client for clickup you can't see the urls so it's Sometimes more helpful if you're developing stuff, trying to understand the API to do it in the browser. So we'll paste that in there as a parameter. And then we will check it out. We have members, we have an array of members, and there you go. Very easy, you're able to see all the members of a list. And again, you could do something like uh, scan this list and then go make your API calls to your HR system and or any other system if the parameters take, you know, their uh, email or you can add custom fields with IDs from other systems and sort of scan them against one another to do your updates or any sort of things that you see fit there. And again, if you need any help with development, please reach out. Have a good day.